Hello, welcome to the Bench Crafting for Beginners guide. In this guide, I will be teaching you the basics of using the crafting bench in order to meet your character's needs for life, resistance, strength, and so forth. Let's get right into it. So the very first thing that you want to do before anything else is you want to open up your menu. Go ahead and go over here to your UI. You want to scroll down to items. Down here in items, you're going to see advanced mod descriptions. You want to make sure that that is turned on. Make sure that it's check marked. Once you have that check marked off, what you can do is you can go over the item that you're going to craft on. Hold alt. Now when you hold alt, you can see the, di the list of the different mods right here. As you can see on this, there's one prefix modifier and there's three suffix modifiers. Now keep in mind that every item can have three prefix modifiers and three suffix modifiers. So this one has three suffix modifiers already. If we go to the crafting bench, we cannot add another suffix to it. So the only thing that we would be able to add to it is a prefix. This one right here has two prefix modifiers and two suffix modifiers. So we'll, at the crafting bench, we could either add a prefix or a suffix. This one has the same, two prefix, two suffix. So these two have an open prefix and an open suffix. So we can add whatever we want to these two. The first one right here though has three suffixes, one prefix. So we can only add a prefix to it. So let's go ahead and head over to the bench. So once you get to the bench, you're going to see on your left hand side, you have a long list of different mods and things that you can add to your rings. Okay. Now keep in mind all of these different crafts you're going to receive either throughout the axe while you're mapping from Alva's temple, June missions, or in delve. And there are specific crafts that you can only receive in specific areas. We're not going to go into detail on that today. Basically this guide is just a basic one for the crafting bench. Um, so what, let's see here, uh, let's pretend on this ring that we need some life, okay? So we'll go ahead and put that in there. Now we know that this ring, by looking at the mods, has open prefixes. Life is a prefix. You look, look on the crafting bench, up here at the top it says prefix and it'll have a list of all the different prefixes you can add. Down in here is the suffixes. Now you can see that all the suffixes are red, meaning that you can't craft them. And as you can see, it says this item may not have another suffix mod. And back to, you know, it's the reason is, is because we already have three suffixes. Always remember you can only have three prefixes and three suffixes. So, if we're going to add life, we'll go ahead and click on the life. Now, this will give us the option right here. Uh, there's tier 3 life right here for 2 alchemy. You know, and it gives you the range of life that you'll get. Tier 2, a little bit lower, costs a little bit less. And tier 1, which is even less. We'll go ahead and just throw tier one, or I'm sorry, tier three life onto it. Craft came out with 46 life. Okay, so I mean, if your build needed life, you had a ring like this and you wanted to add to it, that's what you do. So let's go to this ring right here. Uh, let's pretend like our build needs uh, fire resistance, for instance, okay? So right here, now the prefixes are open, remember, because with this ring has two open prefixes and two open suffixes. So we could add either or. Also keep in mind you can only add one crafted mod. So we need fire resist, we'll come down to the suffixes, we'll click on it. Obviously it gives us two options, there's tier 2 and tier 1. We'll go ahead and add tier 2 to it, craft, 26% fire resistance added to it. Now you can change your crafted on modifiers on your bench. Okay, you can go either just put your ring back in. Say we had this ring, we got different gear, and we wanted to change it over to life that we were adding to it, right? Instead of the, th the 26 fire res. So we'll go back up here to prefixes. Or I'm sorry, it already has life. Say we wanted to add mana to it or, or physical attack damage, leashed is life. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click on that. Now it'll give us the option to pay three and one in order to scour it okay basically clearing off the fire res and adding the attack damage three orb of chance one orb of scour okay we'll go ahead and replace that now the other mod's gone we have life leech okay so say you want to take and you just want to completely take off a mod on anything right 
one that you crafted on the bench, okay? Some people may think that you would take an orb of scouring and just scour it off. Don't ever do that, that's a mistake. Go ahead and take your ring, place it in there. Now come down, come down below the suffixes. And if you come down to here on the bench, you can see remove crafted mods. Click on that, it'll cost you one scour. Replace. Now the mod that you crafted on is gone. Another thing that I wanted to briefly touch on is if you look at this ring right here, okay? You're going to see the modifier at the very top. It says 20% increased global critical strike chance. Any modifier that you see at the top, like on this ring as well, 7% increased rarity of items found. If you hit Alt, you can see that that's an implicit modifier. Implicit modifiers cannot be changed. You can't, you can't go to the bench and change it to something different. Implicit modifiers cannot be changed. The only way that they can be changed sometimes is when you use a Val Orb and you corrupt an item. Sometimes the implicit modifier can disappear and you can get a different mod in there. And that's not even all the time. So just know that you can't go to the bench and change implicit modifiers whatsoever. Other than corrupting, there is no way to change the implicit modifier. Now you can change the value of the implicit modifier. You know, you see it's at 20%. You say you wanted it at, say you wanted it at 30%. You could use the blessed orbs until you hit 30%. That That's uh, something that we will go into in a different video. I'm actually going to make a video on crafting with orbs next here in the near future. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button for more videos in the near future. Thank you very much for watching.